Let me show you how we're going to connect everything up to do the experiment. First of all, um, we'll connect the BNC adapter to the function generator. Get the clamps on there, and then I'll take one of the shorter wires to go over to the inductor. I'll put a, an alligator clip on the end of it to grab on. And then from the induction coil, I'll go to the resistor. And coming out the other end of the resistor, I'll go over to the capacitor. And then coming back, another um, alligator clip to grab onto the capacitor and go back to the function generator. That's the basic circuit. We've just got all the L, R, and C in series going around the loops. And if I turn this on, well, you can see we're at about 2.27 kilohertz. The range is here, and we can set sine uh, triangle wave or square wave here, and the output's coming. So this, this is working. Now we can monitor this. So I'll add the oscilloscope. Let me turn it on. I'll add the connector for the input to the oscilloscope while it warms up. And then two wires coming from the oscilloscope over to the output from the function generator. And you can see the wiggles coming out from the function generator. This is, this is a device that just graphs voltage as a function of time over and over again. I can change here the voltage device so I can change the scale. It tells me in the upper left corner what the scale is. In this case, it's 500 millivolts per, uh, per square. I can also change the time divisions. So right now we're at 200 milliseconds per square. But you can, so you can calibrate this and use it for precision measurements. But when we're getting started, one of the buttons you may want to know about that's very useful is auto scale. Just like in Logger Pro, you can auto scale your grass. We push auto scale. It picks a nice scale for both the vertical and horizontal. So now this is monitoring what's coming out of the function generator. Then we'll take one of the digital voltmeters with the two wires coming out. They're in the voltage uh, holes to measure voltage. And I'll connect them across the two wires coming out of the inductor. And that will be V sub L. And then I'll take the other digital voltmeter and connect, again, put two uh, alligator clips on just to help connect. And I'll connect this across the two sides of the capacitor. OK, so now we've got an LRC circuit in the loop. I've got the oscilloscope monitoring what's coming out of the source. I've got, well, the digital voltmeter here. Actually, I need to turn this on. We're measuring voltage. And this is AC. So if we go over here to the scales that have a horizontal line on them, that would be DC. We want to go over to the, the ones with the wiggly lines. That's AC. We may go up to 6 or 7 volts. So I'm going to pick the 200 volt scale. Oh, that's DC, AC. And you can see the voltage V sub L and the voltage V sub uh, uh, C here. I can even change the amplitudes of the two to go up and down with this knob. Okay, that's the circuit set up to make measurements.